Hello guys, my name is Albert and welcome to my next tutorial series where we'll be modeling a uh, Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon as the uh, title says. So to get things started, in this video I'm going to teach you how to download the Blender 2.8 and to set up some preferences suitable for our modeling series. So if you have a web browser, just open it up and uh, type into the search bar blender.org as you see there and hit enter. So it takes you here, and as you can see, it says Blender 2.8 is almost here. So what we're going to be using is a beta. It hasn't been of officially released yet. So just get it by clicking on the download button here. And click on Try Blender 2.8 Beta. And as you can see, for the Windows users, you can get it in 64-bit or 32-bit. Not the ones below. Those ones are the stable ones for Blender 2.79. And for the Mac OS, there's only one option, 64-bit. And Linux, there's also 64 and 32. So get which get whichever one suits you, and let's get started. So once you download it, just extract it and open it up. I've extracted mine onto my desktop, so I'm gonna open it up right now. So just run Blender 2.8, and you should get this. But I noticed something that the first time that I downloaded the Blender 2.8, it gave me an option here to assign a key map to my spacebar either to use it as a search tool or to use it as the animation play button. So I assigned mine and I think it will also be a good idea for you to assign it to be your search tool because Blender 2.8 came with a lot of key maps changed compared to the Blender 2.79. So if we have the search, in search uh, tool there and we want to find a tool that maybe its key map has been changed in the Blender 2.8, it would be easier. So just set, set it to be a search tool instead of the animation because we definitely won't be using it for animation in this case. We're going to be modeling straightforward. So just click on the splash screen now to get rid of it. And as I was saying, we won't need the timeline, so we're going to get rid of it right now. Just click right here, hover your mouse over here, and then click, then drag down and release to get rid of that whole timeline. Now press A once to select everything in the viewport, and X to delete it. Now there are some basic stuff I'm not going to be mentioning, like how to select objects by pressing A twice or some buttons I won't be I mean certain things I won't be saying because I've already done that in the beginner series on my YouTube and I'm also assuming since you decided to take this course that you already know something about Blender so that won't be a problem for me so I won't be mentioning everything for you guys to get so let's get started first thing we're going to do is set up our preferences go click on the edit here and go to preferences and under under editing, right here, it says align to. Change that from default, it will be on world. So just change it to view, right here. And then once you're done that, go over to the lights here. And under matte caps here, click on install. I'll also put a link in the description for you guys to download all these matte caps. They are two, Blender 2.79's matte caps that aren't available in Blender 2.8. So I'll put a link in the description for you guys to download them. And this is how you install them. Just click on the install button here. And then search wherever you download them, them to. So mine is in my drive D, Blender stuff, and Blender old mod caps here. So you can select all of them. Just select everything. Once you download everything, select all of them by pressing A once or twice and click on install custom studio light. Once you do that, you should be able to access it in your mod cap menu here. So once you click here, it's all here. This is all of them right here. So we're going to be using most of those mod caps there for modeling to you know detect flaws and other stuff so yeah now bring back up your preferences menu here and uh, yeah there are some add-ons too I'll, I'll be having you guys adding along the way and um, yeah also if you guys aren't comfortable with the key maps of Blender 2.8 this is where you can change them I didn't change anything though the only thing I changed was the uh, selection button for the key I mean the mounts so in Blender 2.8 you select with left key I mean your left mouse button click and uh, in 2.8 I mean in 2.79 you select with right click and in 2.8 you select with left click so I changed that to right click because I'm used to that I, re I noticed it was disturbing me most of the time while I was using Blender 2.8 so I decided to change that to the right button and also it, it allowed me it gave me an extra feature that I didn't find in 2.8 while it was on the left key which is say I add in a mesh and I want to move this thing around like this. You can see I didn't press the G button, but I'm moving this around. 
and this is due to the left click selection that I'm using, I mean the right click selection that I'm using right now. So I'm right clicking and keeping my hand on it and moving it around. And I use this a lot, so I decided to change that to the right click to reduce the problems for me. <coughs> so I think that is pretty much it. So once you have everything set in, just close up your preferences now. And all we're going to do next is to set in the uh, reference images. So the link, there should be a link in the description to download a zip file zip file for you guys to be able to get the reference images I'm going to be using in this tutorial and also the blueprints which I made myself so you're not going to get them anywhere I made them myself or well, maybe soon enough you guys will get them somewhere but yeah this is the only place you can get them now so just download that zip file and extract them and let's load in the uh, the reference images now so for the reference images to be loaded in remember in the preferences we change the align to view so wherever we add in an object it will be aligned align to us in our view wherever we are so if we end this view and we add in a queue you notice the view I mean the queue will be aligned to us so that is very important in adding in your blueprint so we're gonna go over to the front view to add in the front blueprint first so just press one on your numpad key to go into the front view as you can see it says front orthographic and now just press shift and A and right here in the menu just look for image and then select background All right now it takes you to uh, here for you to select your image so search wherever you put your image in and uh, load it in so I accessed it recently so it's in my recents but in case you haven't accessed it you just click on the volume and look for it wherever you put it maybe it's on your desktop so you can click right here and search for it but mine is right here so I'm just gonna load it in so you can see it says front so just select the front and load it in right like that so this is the front view this loads in the front view but it will not be visible to you in perspective view it's only visible in orthographic so press 5 to get into orthographic and you can see this is it but it's right in the dead center here where we'll be editing the car art so we want to move this back to in this axis to move it here so it stays about here but that is not going to affect the shape of the image inside here because obviously it's orthographic all right so press G and then Y and let's move this back to here a little bit more now if you press 1, you can see it's still there, right? Nothing has changed. It's still there, like that. So again, let's add in another image, background. No, hold on. Remember, the view. So let's go over to the back view first. So control and number 1 takes you to the back view. And then press shift and A, image, background, and select the back. So that loads in the back as well, here. So also it's in the dead center. So press five and you see it's in the center right there. So we're gonna press G and then Y and move this back as well. Alright, like that. So next will be the front, I mean the side view. So we have back, we have front, and now we'll move on to the side. So we're gonna add in the side view now. So press shift and A, background, side. Like that. So this is the side view, once again in the center. So press G and X, move that away. To somewhere here and finally we have to add in the top view so press 7 to go into top view and press shift and A add in a background and say top but as you can see it's facing the wrong direction so we're gonna edit this we're gonna rotate it to face the other side so we're gonna press R and then Z and type in 90 to rotate it to face the right direction and press enter then again in the center so we're gonna press G and then Z and then move this down to about here. Alright, so now we have it in the center and everything is ready for editing. So I will see you guys in the next video and we will work on this next. Thank you guys for watching.